Hello everyone, I'm Marina and that's a Grammel School. And what should I say? Not every nail tech can set up a form on short, beaten nails. In this case, it's easier to sculpt the nails using dual forms. But there are certain nuances that must be taken into account so that the nails don't break and last longer. In the video, I will show you a life hack that will help you to do an extension on short nails. Let's get into it! Let's take a look at my model's nails. They are very short and need a transformation. I must admit that I like working with difficult nails, complex, and especially like the client's expressions when they see the result, and they're wow when they look at the nails, so I will gladly transform these nails today. It will be really exciting. We can see that the nail plate is short and the front proximal fold protrudes. It covers up a cushion. As a rule, such nails are always trapezoidal and growing upwards. So this point must be taken into account when setting up the forms. My model's cuticle seems dry, but in fact, it is combined. I would even say wet. So I will do a combined manicure. First, we push the cuticle so we could do a manicure. It's important to take into account that on this nail type, the cuticle is often spreading and wet. But here the skin is combined. I will do a combined manicure. For this, I will use a blue diamond flame drill bit. If I choose a red one, it would get clogged with the skin very quickly and work ineffectively. So I took a blue one. But here you need to work extremely carefully so as not to leave cuts. Turn it on, forward position, the speed is 17,000 rpm and I clean out all the left sides of the nail. Besides, I process the front fold with a bit to polish it. In the same position, forward, polish the surface of the nail plate. It's important not to press hard on it, so as not to leave cuts. This way, it will be easier to polish without damaging the cuticle. Moving gently, barely touching. Make sure to lean on with your pinky finger. Switch the rotation direction to reverse and process the right sides. My model's nail folds are high. There is something to work on, the pterygium. I lift up the cuticle, forming some kind of a rim. It is not overgrown here, therefore it's not that obvious. But this way it will be easier for me to cut the cuticle and polish it later. Often with this cuticle type you have to process it twice. Lift it up with a knee file, cut with scissors, and after the cut we will see that there is still something left. You can e-file it out once again so that everything is perfectly clean, so that there is no remaining pterygium that will affect wearability. Before cutting, we remove the dust and cut off what is left. It seems as if there is no cuticle, but in fact there is. I go in small steps 2-3 to three millimeters. I try to cut off as much as possible in a single piece. Then I polish all the tiny hangnails. This time we will take not a blue abrasive, but a red one, because we don't want to remove the cuticle, but to polish it. And indeed, if we lift up the cuticle, after the cut we will see that the inside is still not clean enough. So now I take a flame drill bit and finish it up. Write in the comments if you have ever worked with such cuticle, which needs to be processed twice. I'm using a diamond sphere drill bit, 0.31 in diameter, and set a low speed about 7 to 10,000 rpm. This is a rather dangerous stage, polishing the cuticle after cutting. Be extremely careful and don't press on the drill bit. In my opinion, the heads have already changed and look absolutely different. This is why doing a manicure matters. I dehydrate the nail plate, remove the dust from the side sinuses, from anywhere it could get clogged. And the next step will be to apply some preparatory products. 
a dehydrator, the model's skin is combined. Despite seeming dry, her hands are wet. And the next step, we will take a primer, but not a standard acid-free, but an acid one. Because I know that on such nails, as a rule, the coating does not last long. The acid primer must be applied with a squeezed brush, only on the natural nail, just a small amount, without layering. But if we take an acid primer, then we need to take a low acid or non-acid base coat. If you use an acid base and an acid primer together, this can lead to the nail plate burn and some other negative consequences. Apply the base in a thin layer, rub it in and send it to cure in a lamp. As a rule, it's not easy for the techs to set up paper forms on such nails due to the lack of a free edge, so we will use a set of dual forms. But there are nuances that must be taken into account for the nails to be wearable, because there is the front proximal fold that tends to push out the material on the sides. Here is a life hack on how you can avoid it. For sculpting, I picked up these slightly bent forms, because such short beaten nails most often grow upwards, and I don't need any strong bend on the dual forms. We need to choose the dual forms based on the size of the nail, its width. Choose the form according to the widest part of the nail. It's important not to push it. Otherwise, it may seem that this form is too big. Just slightly apply it. And we see that the sidewalls are completely covered with the material. The only thing is that these ears will cause the material to flow. So I take scissors and cut off the excess. We apply it again and now it perfectly fits the cuticle. For example, this form seems to fit well, but it actually bounces a bit. Thus, it will lift up with the material, and there will be an air pocket. So I picked up the dual forms for each nails. For sculpting, we will use Acrogel. I choose the one with a big fraction of acrylic powder. If you look closer, its grains are clearly visible. As a rule, such acrogel is more durable and will hold on better on such short nails that are subjected to mechanical stress. Here we can't work with dual forms using a classic method, because the front fold will push the material out. There will be a thin layout in the stress zone and accordingly it may cause breaks to the very root. We will use the following life hack. I take a small amount of acrogel and spread it directly on the skin. An important factor is that the client does not have any injuries, so that there is no allergic reaction. I poured a special liquid to moisten the brush, so that our acrogel does not get stuck. Dip the brush in the liquid and start spreading, forming a kind of a free edge. Forming the sidewalls, we are doing this so we could be 100% sure that on the stress zone there will be the material and the fold will not push it out. Now I do the following. With my index finger, I pull the fold tightly and I've got such a portable pocket UV flashlight. I turn it on, put the fold and wait for the material to cure. 30 seconds. Until it hardens a little, then I will put it in a UV lamp for the final polymerization. The fridge has cured, and now we can work with the dual forms according to the standard scheme. I grab a drop of acrogel, apply the dual form, spread the material in the form according to the sculpting rules, and make sure that the sidewalls are not too thin and translucent. I will do a squall shape, so I shape it right in the dual form, so that later I don't have to drill out the axis. I laid out the material evenly. Now I apply it on the nail, smoothly lower it, which checks so there are no air pockets near the cuticle. Turn it over, spread the material, pull it on the sidewalls. 
I don't stretch any extra length and send it to the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. After curing, I take the hand out of the lamp and squeeze the free edge with reverse tweezers. It also helps to separate the form better. Now set up a clip to press the free edge even more. Send it to the lamp to cure. On the index, the front fold does not protrude, so we can sculpt it using the classic technique. Spread the material in the dual form. I take a step back from the cuticle, press it. You can also cure it at the cuticle with a flashlight. I flip the form and smooth out the material from the inside. We have only cured the material in the cuticle area, and from the inside the material is still wet, so we can gently smooth it out and send to the lamp to cure. About 15 seconds. I press it. The pressing time will depend on your material, on its layer, on the lamp power. Remove the form and set up the clip for fixing and send to cure like this. On the ring finger, we do the same as on the middle one. Apply it on the skin, spread it with a brush and cure it like this with the flashlight, while pulling the front fold. I cure it well with the flashlight from the sides, in the middle, from the right, from the left. And then we cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Now I do the same, just as I did before. I apply Acrygel and spread it with the brush. Set up the form on the nail. If something has come out, make sure to remove it. Don't send it to cure like this. I press harder on the form, on the sides, so that the material comes out and I use it to form the sidewalls, here with the flashlight near the cuticle. And from the inside, I smooth it out so there is no layering, and I build up the sidewalls with the material. For filing, I will use a 180 grit nail file. First, I shape the nails into a squabble. A small lens, I place the file under the nail plate, making long moves. File in the sides. At the cuticle, I will drill out the material using a carbide drill bit with a thin tip. It is the most convenient for this. If I see that the material leaked there, I pull the cuticle and carefully process it. Turn over the finger, forward position, moving from right to left, removing the material from the inside. For the nails not to look so upgrowing, I will file up the surface, lowering them down. I process the surface with a buffer to mat it, with its hard and soft sides. If you want to cover it up with a colored gel polish, then you don't need to buff the surface so thoroughly. But if you just want to cover it up with a top coat, then it's better to make the surface smooth, remove the dust, dehydrate the nail plate, and let's create a small design, so that these nails are not too bright, but still beautiful and interesting. For this, I will use these two glitter gels. I bought them on AliExpress. I spread some purple gel in the cuticle area. Then I take an ombre brush and gradually pull the brush towards myself, pulling the sparkles to the middle of the nail plate. 
Here it is important not to overdo, so there is not too much glitter. After pulling off the glitter, you can already apply the gel a little deeper under the cuticle with a thin brush. I cured in a lamp for 30 seconds. Those who want it to be more minimalistic, you can leave it like this. But I will add some blue glitter gel with larger fragments. With a thin brush, I apply a larger glitter here and there, so as not to cover up the purple completely. To dim the glitter a bit, but at the same time create a beautiful design, cover it up with a matte top coat. You will see how the glitter will shine in a completely different way. It won't be that bright and will look very interesting. Send it to the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. Wipe off the tacky layer from the matte top and admire the results of our transformation. So here it is, our finished result. Give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so not to miss out on new useful videos. I wish you all success in your work. Good luck! Bye-bye!